Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 10 in Alternative Energy Demystified, second edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find it on page 312. We're talking about a home designed for passive solar heating. That's where, like, you have sun shining in a large window and it helps to heat your house up during the daytime especially <laughs> or only if the sun shines in so on a sunny day the sun shines in these big windows and warms your house in a home designed for passive solar heating objects warmed by the sun during the day radiate heat energy away at night in the form of what and we're given five choices ultraviolet shortwave infrared longwave infrared microwaves or gamma rays well Microwaves and gamma rays we can rule out right away. That's gamma rays are what you would expect to get from uranium. You better hope that you don't get that coming off of your furniture at night. Microwaves, oh, those are radio microwaves. Ultraviolet, well, again, uh, no, you won't get that radiating away from your furniture and other objects in your house at night after having been warmed by the sun during the day. They're warmed by the sun during the day, mainly by shortwave infrared and visible light. But at night, they radiate that back out in the form of C, longwave infrared. That's what happens. So let's actually take a look at the situation during the daytime in a passive solar heated room. Here's the sun shortwave uh, and visible light, shortwave infrared and visible light shine in, strike objects, heat them up, and they radiate this longer wavelength invisible infrared, uh, infrared radiation back into the room. This shortwave invisible light can get through the glass easily, but the longwave infrared can't. The, gas, uh, the glass looks opaque or like a mirror to this long wave infrared. So at night, we take all of this away and we're left only with this situation where the glass window in effect behaves like just more wall or like a mirror and this long wave infrared kind of bounces around in here and of course gradually through conduction you will lose uh, the heat out of the room if the night lasts long enough or if there's a cloudy day the next day and you don't get any sun. But once again, the correct answer to this question is choice C. At night, it radiates long wave infrared back into the room and into the house, helping to keep you warm even when the sun doesn't shine.